All right, Stephen, so I'm trying something a little different today. We're gonna try to do this reading from my phone. I am currently at uh, Cafetto. Um, but this reading is pretty much, it's pretty much about sex, actually. So this is about trying to find the kind of that energy that will basically give you a boost and make you able to do things that you wouldn't normally be able to. So it's just really powerful, cleansing, um, sort of unity energy and how to get there. So as a base card, we have the Three of Wands. And here, the Three of Wands, this is a good sign because the Three of Wands shows something that is already kind of established. So here in the three, the person is growing these wands. Um, you can see out of this umbilical cord, uh, showing long sort of patient growth and just giving that energy, um, care and love over time. Uh, so the three showing up here is a good sign and it means, you know, that um, there is already an established connection to the energy that we're looking for. So, the first card that shows up is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands here, it basically is about hope. And it's about how much hope you have that the future can be different than the past. The person in the card is trapped in this basement and they find this staircase that may or may not lead out. Up here, you can kind of see the night sky in the card showing that it is the way out. But no progress can be made if the person doesn't believe that there can be progress. So first, hope and um, moving forward is very important. So here the second card is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is pretty much about artistic expression. It's also dream energy and making sure that you're listening to your dreams um, and expressing them in ways that you can look at and like remember but here with the seven of cups in my personal life uh, this would be things like the open mic songwriters contest um, writing songs and doing things like that so that energy is going to be really helpful to kind of uncork this genie and the last card is the emperor and the Emperor is basically about making things happen. Like the Empress can ride a wave, but the Emperor has to create it. So the Emperor showing up at the end is basically saying, if you want something to happen, it's not going to happen unless you make it so. Make it so, just like Jean-Luc. Um, so, that is what we have for today.